What's going on guys? In this video, I take this black walnut slab. I use a combination of coffee, epoxy, and uh, turn it into this serving board. Stay tuned for the video. What's going on guys? This is Brady with Brady Hummel Woodworks. So I had this black walnut slab laying around. It was a little too narrow for much of anything, like a table or anything like that. So I decided to make a serving tray. Uh, and this wasn't going to be like a charcuterie board. I have one of them on my website. So I kind of wanted to do something a little different to put on my website. So I decided to do a tray. Uh, the board was a little warped. So I used this kind of as a planer sled. Hot glued it to a piece of plywood. And this allowed me to really straighten it out. So... There wasn't a warp in there. Basically, you run it through a bunch of times on that. And then you're able to take it off of there, flip it over, and run it through the planer by itself. And you've got a perfectly level surface. I then clamped it to my bench because I had to get rid of the bark. Uh, you really want to use a draw knife for this. I don't have one. So I used a chisel. A chisel works, but it's going to take a lot longer than a draw knife. And this probably took me a good half hour to get everything off. Uh, I got a majority of it off with the chisel. And then went back with my angle grinder with a flap disc on it. And got off a majority of the rest of it. This really gets all that darker stuff that's left on after the bark that allows you to clean it up real good and that flap desk that that that's pretty aggressive so you kind of want to be careful with that so i went back with this hand sander and just sanded it by hand so it's nice and smooth and leaves a nice live edge on there so there was a lot of voids on top of this board uh, and I was going to use epoxy to fill it. So I tinted the epoxy black and filled those voids. Uh, I was going to use like a teal color and all that. But I don't know. I'm pretty plain Jane when it comes to this stuff. And black epoxy just worked well for me. I didn't really want too much of color contrast in there. There was already quite a bit of color contrast just from the, the sap wood. This was a pretty heavy sap wood piece. And that's why I went back and did it with, stained it with coffee later. Went back and just used a torch to pop all the bubbles. So that night, I left it by my wood stove to dry. And that, I don't think was the right idea because that warped it once again a little bit. Just slightly, it wasn't too bad, but I had to put it back on the planer sled and run that through again. One last time to finally get it all smooth. Um, yeah, this serving board ended up being a ton more work than I thought. But the final product I was really happy with. So, uh, And then running it through the planer, that opened up more voids. They were just really small ones though. So I just used some CA glue because it dries really quick and put those in there. You can see that black epoxy. It looks real nice. While that CA glue was drying, I brewed up a really, really strong cup of coffee. I don't think I quite did it strong enough, but it worked well enough for what I needed. So I went back once the CA glue was dry and just sanded it. Just used my random orbital sander and sanded it smooth. Another thing that happened was when I put it through the planer the second time, it opened up this wormhole. <laughs> This was like the never-ending board, man. This this took so long, but 
Uh, I sanded it, kind of smoothed it over a little bit, and then he used a chisel. And I was just kind of going to, you know, flow the live edge into this just to hide that a little bit. So I chiseled it down and then sanded it. And the ending result actually worked pretty good. Just looked like it was part of the live edge. Uh, I used this hand sander. Your normal 5-inch random orbital sanding pads will fit on it. And this thing works really great. Uh, I'll link it down in the description below, but it works awesome. You don't got to buy separate sandpaper. I just I just buy the random orbital sandpaper, and then I hand sand to this. The reason I like to hand sand is I don't like the swirls for, left over from the uh, random orbital sander. So to finish off, I usually always hand sand. Here I am just putting my logo on. Then it was time to stain the sapwood with the coffee I brewed up. So, as I said, I don't think I brewed the coffee strong enough. I would have liked it a little darker, but it darkened it up just enough, and I kind of ended up really liking the contrast of it. Another thing this does is usually you spray down your cutting boards with water and let it dry to raise the grain. Uh, I didn't have to because I was staining it with coffee. And the reason I used the coffee was because, obviously, I needed a food-safe finish, a food-safe stain. And I just think it ended up turning out real good. By putting that coffee on there, that raised the grain and allowed me to sand it smooth uh, after it dried. So here I am. Originally I was going to put these stainless steel handles on. And as I was going through it, I ended up drilling all the holes and everything. And then that night I was kind of looking at pictures of... Because I took pictures with the handles on there. And that night I decided I really didn't like that. It was kind of too flashy. But of course I decided that after drilling the holes for it. So the next day I came back and just used a Forstner bit. I believe this was a one inch Forstner bit. So I was gonna, I drilled those kind of where the handle holes were. So I had a whole new plan. I was gonna cut in handles. So that's what I did. I just jigsawed them out. And then on the underneath, I used my router to take out some material so it would be easier to get your hands in. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see how that worked out. But in the end, it did work out pretty well. Uh, I just used a chamfer bit just to smooth out all the edges. And then I used emery cloth just to sand the handles and get all the rough edges out. Right there, that smoothed all that over. And then in the end, I think it turned out pretty good. And uh, you'll be able to see here where I routed out all that material that allowed me to you know you can grab it with your hand get your fingers under there and I really like the way this one turned out um, it was a ton of work but I like it I will have it available on my website if you're interested in it but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more thanks for watching